This demo will cover configuring DB2 version 9.7 for SSL on the Windows platform. You can then go on and use DB2 client applications that also support SSL to connect to the DB2 database. One such example client application is WebSphere Application Server. Here's the procedure to configure DB2 for SSL. Note that for this demonstration we are using a Windows 7 64-bit machine. Before configuring the SSL support for DB2, perform these verification steps. First, verify the availability of the GS Kit. The IBM Global Security Kit, commonly known as GS Kit, is a set of programmable interfaces that allows applications to be SSL enabled. If both your client and the server are on the same physical computer, you do not need to install GS Kit because GS Kit is automatically installed with the DB2 server. On Windows 32-bit platforms, the GS Kit libraries are located in C colon program files slash IBM slash GSK8 slash lib. On Windows 64-bit platforms, the 64-bit GSK Kit libraries are located in C colon program files slash IBM slash GSK8 slash lib64. Our window shows that these libraries are present in the lib64 subdirectory for our 64-bit machine. Next, you also need to ensure that the path to the IBM Global Security Kit libraries appears in the path environment variable on Windows platforms. In looking at our window, you will see that our path variable contains our GS Kit libraries path. Next, ensure that the connection concentrator is not activated. SSL support will not be enabled in the DB2 instance if connection concentrator is running. To determine whether connection concentrator is activated, Issue the Get Database Manager Configuration command from a DB2 command window. If the configuration parameter Max Connections is set to a value greater than the value of Max Coord Agents, Connection Concentrator is activated. As you can see in our output, the values for these two parameters are equal, and therefore Connection Concentrator is not running. Also in this output, check the, check the output and note the values for the SSL related parameters that we have highlighted. They should not have any value prior to the completing of this configuration task. Next, we will configure the SSL support for DB2. The first step in configuring SSL support is to create the server key store and then the certificate. You will first create a key database to manage your digital certificates. These certificates and encryption keys are used for establishing the SSL connections. Use the GSK CAPI CMND tool to create your key database. It must be a certificate management system or CMS type key database. You invoke the tool GSK cap I command using the GSK CAPI CMD command. The path for the command on Windows is C program files slash IBM slash GSK8 slash bin on both 32-bit and 64-bit Windows platforms. For our example, we will use the following command as shown in our command window to create a key database and a stash file. Select your own database name and password when issuing the command. The dash stash option creates a stash file at the same path as the key database with a file extension of .sth. At instance startup, GSK Kit uses the stash file to obtain the password to the key database. Next, add a certificate for your server to your key database. 
The server sends the certificate to clients using the SSL handshake to provide authentication for the server. To obtain a certificate, you can either use GSK CAP I CMD to create a new certificate request and submit it to a CA to be signed, or you can create a self-signed certificate for testing purposes. For our example, we will create a self-signed certificate with a label of myself signed using the GSK CAP I CMD command. Our command window illustrates this command. Finally, you need to extract the certificate you just created to a file so that you can distribute it to computers running clients that will be establishing SSL connections to your DB2 server. For our example, we will use the following GSK CAP I CMD command as shown in our command window to extract the certificate to a file called db2server.arm. The second step in configuring DB2 for SSL support involves the setting of configuration parameters and setting the db2com registry variable. To do this, log in as the DB2 instance owner and set the following configuration parameters and the db2com registry variable. First, set the SSL underscore SVR underscore KEYDB configuration parameter to the fully qualified path of the key database file as shown in our command window. Note that if SSL underscore SVR underscore KEYDB is null or unset, SSL support is not enabled. Next, set the SSL underscore SVR underscore stash configuration parameter to the fully qualified path of the stash file as shown in our command window. Note that if SSL underscore SVR underscore stash is null or unset, SSL support is not enabled. Next, set the SSL underscore SVR underscore label configuration parameter to the label of the digital certificate of the server, which we previously created with the label of myself signed. If SSL underscore SVR underscore label is not set, the default certificate in the key database is used. If there is no default certificate in the key database, SSL is not enabled. And next, set the SSL underscore SVCE name configuration parameter to the port that the DB2 database system should listen on for SSL connections, as shown in our command window. The SVCE name configuration parameter sets the port that the DB2 database system listens on for TCP IP connections. If you set SSL underscore SVC name to the same port as SVCE name, neither TCP IP or SSL will be enabled. If SSL underscore SVCE name is null, SSL support is not enabled. Next, add the value SSL to the db2com registry variable, as shown in our command window. If your db2com registry variable is already set to TCP, add the value of SSL, as is the case in our example. Note that db2 is our instance name. Use your instance name. Restart the db2 instance for the changes to take effect. To verify the SSL configuration, issue the Get Database Manager configuration command. In our window, note that the first four parameters now have values as a result of our configuration, as expected. You will recall that prior to starting the SSL configuration, we checked these same parameters and they had no value. That concludes our demo on configuring DB2 for SSL.